Hello friends, this is Irvind and Peter is back and helping me making a video. And now we make a very interesting video about slender boat. Boats that are long and narrow and not so heavy. And this is a table. The speed and power table for motor yachts and boats. And they have 20 feet, 25 and 30 feet. And now if you take the same displacement, for example, two tons with 20 feet and two tons with 25 feet and two tons with 30 feet, you see here is 3.1 horsepower. And if you make the boat longer, you need less power, 2.4 horsepower, and even longer, 1.9. And the same with uh, 1.5 tons. Here with five knots, you have 2.6 engine. And uh, here you have only 1.6. So it's a very good thing, you know, it makes less. It's the same thing like if you have a sailing boat, you don't need so much sail area. So if you go from 20 feet to 30 feet, if you have a 20 feet boat, you need 10 square meter. 30 feet, you only need six square meter sail area. But now you come into a, a, a good virtual circle, you know, like with less sail area, you don't need some high mast. You can put the center of it lower down and that's good because then you don't need so much big keel either. So you can make the boat lighter and then can go even faster. Now, this sounds a bit strange that now boats are measured by length. Well, length is not a really good measure, but the racing people, they have rules because the longer boat is faster, they restrict it. They made rules and regulations. And uh, so people cannot make, but a cruising man, he don't have to care about these things. And now the explanation is this, it has to do with the food number. With a low food number, there are many waves along the boat. Here food number 0.28. The wave pattern looks like this. But if you go to higher, crew number 0.4. There's so only one big wave. There's a bow wave and a stern wave, and the boot goes down in the middle in a hollow. And that increases the resistance a lot. And this is how it increases. So 0.3. You have just this little resistance. But if you go to point 0.4, it goes all the way up here. <coughs> and that is maybe four or five times as high. And this comes from this book, Principle of Yacht Design. There's two people from Göteborg. I know them very well. And uh, so this is the reason I might make, for example, this book. I'm building now, looks like this. 6.27, but only 1.4. But Perry, in California, he makes a boat 1.83 long, but only 4.25. But my boat is really smaller than his, and makes less resistance too. And so I can, I can have a less sail area. So, but then next boat is going to be even longer. It's going to be 8.2 meter, 1.36. Because in this boat, I make many mistakes and many things I find out as I do it. So, but first I will sail to Chile and then I will do this. So, thank you for today.